freezing fog is thick as we speed out across the Azov Sea. Crimea, which was annexed by Russian forces eight years ago, is not far from here. Anton has come to check the area he will fish when the winter fishing season starts next week. He insists on covering his face because he, like hundreds of Ukrainian fishermen, has been detained by Russian naval intelligence in recent years. He says he was taken to a Russian naval base in Kerch at the entrance to the Black Sea, where he was interrogated and held for 15 days before being released. There are many obstacles. Access to the sea is difficult. Russians don't allow us to work properly. They approach us and start pushing us back, harass us. We can't do anything with our small boats against their equipment. It's impossible to prove to them we have a right to be here. It's pointless trying. The wreck of a Soviet fishing trawler appears on an island around which Ukrainian fishermen now cast their nets less frequently. Soviet-built houses where fishermen used to stay stand derelict near the shore. We're about 20 kilometers off the coast. Fishermen tell us that normally in this area there'd be around 100 Ukrainian fishing vessels operating. But they say that number is dwindling fast because of fears of Russian naval patrols. In 2003, Russia and Ukraine signed an agreement which allows both countries to fish anywhere in the Azov Sea. But since 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, Moscow has increased its naval presence and taken greater control of these waters and the larger Black Sea, which the Azov is connected to via the Kerch Strait. In December, the Ukrainian Navy said Russia blocked 75% of the Azov by issuing navigational warnings. Recent large-scale Russian naval exercises off Crimea have fueled fears that the Kremlin is preparing to invade Ukraine by sea, something Russia continues to deny. Ukraine lost 70% of its fleet when Russia seized control of Crimea and Sevastopol, the Black Sea port city. Ukraine's government is buying small naval patrol vessels from NATO partners but seems powerless to better protect fishermen. Of course I'm worried. We go far out to sea, we might not come back. It's good if the Russians inform our families that they've taken us. But there are many instances when they file forged cases against us and you risk being put in a Russian prison for years. At the fish market, traders say they are feeling the financial fallout of Russia's actions at sea. The situation has got really bad. No Russian tourists, small amount of fish from the boats because of problems at sea. The fishing industry is suffering, and that means we do too. We repeatedly asked the Ukrainian Navy for comment about how it can better protect fishermen from what the government calls Russian aggression. But the Navy refused because of what it says are security issues. Anton is afraid of fishing these icy waters in the weeks ahead, a sea now increasingly under Russian control. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, the Azov Sea, southern Ukraine.